Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today's the day. Uh, this is the release for my HyperPi PC build. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, uh, what systems are included. Uh, we'll do ROM counts and then I'll show you uh, how to get it and what to do once you got it. So I'm going to launch it up. So I just find that to be a funny intro for my own. I did include the original HyperPi intro, so if you guys want to use that instead, feel free. I'm going to turn the volume down here. So basically, um, we'll start at the main menu doing wheels. So Atari 2600, uh, Atari 7800, we got the Virtual Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Famicom Disk System, uh, Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64, Game Gear, SG-1000, we got Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega 32X, Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation, TurboGrafx-16, and the Vectrex. So that's all the systems included for you guys. Uh, I believe there's over 20 systems so far. So let's get into the wheels. So you're looking at, uh, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, um, there's two numbers, I'm on 592, 593, but the total count would be 667 for Atari 2600. Uh, 45 for the Atari 7800. Um, not as many as, as others, but 45 decent games. Uh, Virtual Boy has 24. Game Boy, 830. Game Boy Color, 535. Game Boy Advance, 1067. I'll just do a quick scroll for some of these. Uh, not that big of a deal, I guess. Uh, Famicom Disk System, you're looking at 84. Uh, NES 778, so that's equivalent to uh, my ultimate uh, NES Classic build that I released not too long ago. Super Nintendo 785. Nintendo 64 303, uh, which is pretty much standard for, for most builds that I've seen uh, from, from just about anybody. Uh, Sega Game Gear, you're looking at 335. The SG-1000, you're looking at 75. Sega Master System, 334. Sega Genesis, 941. Castlevania Bloodlines, excellent, excellent game. If you guys are really into the Genesis and you don't need a huge build like this, go ahead and check out my other video uh, with my other release for Strictly Sega Genesis. It's a really nice, clean build. It's based off Emulation Station, but uh, it's a nice light build for you if you're not if you're not into something as huge as this. Now Sega CD, just just Snatcher, just one game. Uh, you know, I only got 50 free gigs for for the mega website to, to post for you guys so I only included one Sega CD game um, same with PlayStation and you'll see and Saturn so 30 oops sorry guys 32x you're looking at 34 games uh, now this is Sega Saturn um, I did include Batman uh, Forever the arcade game I don't have a video snap. I do have the wheel there. Um, if I do, if I do eventually find all of, all the snap and wheel art, um, I'll do an update pack with with the artwork. But I won't be doing any update packs with complete ROM sets for these huge systems. Um, in my previous video, you guys know where to find ROM sets and stuff like that. So go ahead and check those out. Um, 
my video was for adding ROM sets to emulation station, I believe. Um, if it was for HyperPi PC, then you're all good to go, but it's the same idea. Uh, so PlayStation, you're looking at Spyro the Dragon, uh, the one game. TurboGrafx-16, 94, so basically just all your North American releases. And finally, we have Vectrex with 22 games. So one thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to get it. And then we're going to go into what you're going to want to do once you have it. It's very easy. So first thing you're going to do is click the link in the description. And once you do that, um, go ahead and download that file. Uh, use Mega Downloader. I have a video on that as well on how to, how to get it, how to use it. It's very easy. Um, so you're going to get a file that says HyperPy PC link. Um, and within that little text file is the link for the build. Um, I link to text files and the text file links to the build. That's how I'll, I'm going to be doing it from here on out. Um, but once you, once you do download the actual build, you're going to have hyperpypc.7zip. You want it in the root of your C drive. Go ahead and right click and extract here. Or if you're using 7-zip, same thing, extract here. Once you have it extracted, don't mind all my folders, guys. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. You're going to have a HyperPy PC folder, and you're going to have a ROMs folder. So go on into your HyperPy PC folder, and you're going to want to launch RetroArch. Now you're going to want to configure your controllers. Now... I have two separate videos on how to do this. I have one for the PlayStation 3 controller and one for the Xbox 360 controller. Um, so I'm not going to get into it in this video, but that's what you would do. Don't forget, once you set all of your controllers, uh, all your buttons, make sure you go to configurations and save. Con press enter on save current configuration. Uh, and then you can go ahead and quit RetroArch. So once that's done, we're gonna we're ready to launch. So go ahead and launch. Now, on your guys' uh, version of the build, you may have Kodi and Netflix showing. You may even have GameCube showing. Now, those are three add-ons that will be coming in the future. The The Netflix one is a maybe, but the Kodi one's definitely coming, and the GameCube one is definitely coming as well. So if you have those showing, what you do is press Tab on your keyboard, and go up to displays and let's say you were showing Nintendo GameCube um, but you don't have it yet you don't have the pack yet so you want to hide it for now and when I do release these packs guys um, you're gonna do the reverse of what I'm showing you now which I'll show you in those videos as well so press enter and you can see show in menu and show in cycle if these say yes uh, press enter and make them no uh, and do that for any systems that you want to hide um, they're still there. You're not deleting anything. You're just not going to be showing it in your main wheel folder, uh, main wheel uh, menu, so it won't be here anymore. Um, I do apologize if they are showing. Those packs aren't there yet. I've been really trying to push this for you guys before I go on vacation, so I may have forgotten that. But just do what I just showed you, and you're you're all set to hide them for now until those add-on packs come out. So what you're going to want to do as well is pr we're going to press tab again and we're going to go up to controls, press enter and now you're going to want to set your controls. So for me, um, the back button, for PS3 I use circle and for Xbox 360 I use the B button. So press enter and go down to add input, press enter and press the desired button you want to go back a menu. So basically I'm in this menu, I would just press that button I just did, and I go back one. Then go ahead and do the same thing for your D-pad, up, down, left, right, and do it for select. This is not the select button on your controller, this is to choose something. So to choose a game, to choose uh, to like this. So go ahead and add input, and for PS3 I use the X button, for Xbox 360 I use the A button. Uh, so there we go. Um, so now your controller is configured. 
You don't have to worry about none of this other stuff. Don't worry about none of that stuff. You're all good. So go ahead and press the button that you configured to back and then press it again. Um, if you press that back button while you're in this main wheel, you will you can go to exit attract mode and go to yes. I'm going to go to no for now. And now your controller is configured. You're all ready to go. Everything will play perfectly. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to exit a game using your keyboard, then here let's let's launch uh, let's launch Sega CD here. So if you're in game, you would press Alt F4 to come back to the main menu. If you've configured your hotkeys in RetroArch. Which, what I do is use select and down, so I'm going to relaunch that game, and I'm not going to use my keyboard. This way you can control everything from your controller. Um, if you set them the way that I've set them in my previous videos, hold select, press down, and boom. You're done. You're out. And now you're back and you can do whatever you want. You can press over. If you don't want to go through the wheels every time, you can just press over to get to different systems. Uh, I like to go through the wheels because I like the way they look. Uh, so again guys, really appreciate you watching, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, I'm, like I said, there, there's definitely add-on packs coming, um, Cody will be the first release of an add-on pack, it's completely done, um, it's ready to go for you guys, and then GameCube will be the first system add-on pack, um, now with the GameCube add-on, I will not be supplying ROMs. Um, any of these games that are that are huge ROM files, uh, I will supply all of your wheel and snap, and also any files that you would need to get you going. And I'm also going to show you step by step how to try to make my videos uh, as easy as possible so that everyone can enjoy uh, my builds. Um, I I do this. For a lot of different reasons, but it's mostly just just to get people back into gaming. Just sit back and enjoy yourself, and not worry about, you know, I had to spend, you know, 500 bucks on a new console and then a new controller, and the games are expensive. Blah blah. Enjoy the classics because they're really great. Um, I mean, I, th this this build right here, the the possibilities are fairly endless. I mean, you, I want to talk a little bit about the emulators. There's Wii. There's Wii U. There's Nintendo uh, DS, there's 3DS, um, PlayStation 2, uh, someone's working on an Xbox uh, original, which is great, um, uh, Xbox 360, so there are a ton of emulators out there. Sega Dreamcast is another one, and guys, as soon as I get stuff working on my build, you will be the first to know, and I will definitely share it with you guys. Uh, but without any of these newer systems with, with the huge ROMs and all that stuff, it's going to be artwork only, um, but I will guide you as best as I possibly can. So, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy the build. Most of all, have a good day.